Hey, it's Andrew with JNC Guns again. Um, if you like our videos that you've seen so far, show us by subscribing and uh, as always, leave any comments or questions you have. Today I'm going to be doing a supplemental video to the previous 1911 videos that I already did where I showed a basic field strip and reassembly. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the firing pin and extractor, which is not necessarily something you have to do every time you shoot the gun, but I, I do personally, and if you, if you wait too long to do it, you'll get carbon and gunpowder build up in the extractor, and you'll start seeing some, some failures to extract, and that's not good, so it's something, it's something that's part of the more normal maintenance of the gun. So we'll start off here, there's no need to safety check it, because as you can see, it's just a gutted slide with uh, the parts in there. So. If you look at the back here, you've got the extractor in the middle there, you've got the firing pin and then this plate that holds it all together. Um, and this plate, the way that the plate is going to be facing, you, it's got to go back in the same way, not upside down, not backwards. It's got to go back in the same way or it won't work. So what we want to do to start is press in on that firing pin with a small screwdriver and at this point you can see that the firing pin is out of that little hole on the plate and just and now at this point all you do is slide that plate off being careful to keep your finger on top of there because that firing pin and spring is under pressure and will shoot out of there so now you can see the firing pin sticking out and remove that and remove the firing pin from the spring the extractor will just slide out just like that and that's that's all there is to it to take it apart putting it back together is a lot more tedious uh, I'll show you here how the little tricks I use. So you, you're going to put the, the firing pin and spring back together, drop it back in the slide. All right, so you'll see here on the back of the fire or on the back of the extractor, there's that little notch. There's a corresponding notch there on on your right, on the right side of the slide that it has to line up with the with the extractor. And getting it in there and initially lining it up is is easy. But once you start putting that plate in there, it's easy for that thing to rattle sideways or up, up and down, and it's kind of, kind of tedious to just get it all to line up and get that plate back over there. But it's, it's, it's doable. Remember, it's got to go back on like that as you look at it from the back, uh, because it's got that little lip on there, so you can't put it backwards, upside down. It won't work. So you can see that I've got that all lined up. I'm sure that'll that'll change here in a second when I start reassembling this because it's kind of tedious. But I'll, I'll so basically I just put the plate on there to get it started a little bit, and I start pushing in on the back on the back of the firing pin. And wow, okay, so that didn't give me any trouble that time. Usually it rattles itself sideways. When you just kind of have to fiddle with the extractor, you can you can put your finger back here in the ejection port and just kind of get that thing straightened out. You can even try and hold it in place if you're so if you're so inclined, or have have a friend do that while you work on the back of there. So you can see I've got that plate partially back on there, lined up with the extractor, and I'm just going to push it up up all the way until I hear that click, which is just the back of the firing pin pushing up through that plate. And at that point, it's back together. And uh, thanks for watching. If We try to be thorough in these videos. If there's anything that's unclear to you or you have a question or comment about, please, please do leave a comment. We'll, we'll uh, do our best to address that. Uh, stay tuned for range days on this gun and other guns. And by the way, this has been a, uh, this has been a Series 80 Colt government model slide. Uh, I've, I've got a Series 70 as well. And the procedure is the same on both guns, and it's going to be the same on all the variants of 1911s you see with you know four or four and a quarter inch barrels or three inch barrels the procedure is going to be the same because this part back here the firing block is the same it's this part up here where the barrel sits that that's where they change the length thanks for watching and stay tuned for our other videos